Hello, hello, and welcome once again, J76NY here, and we are back with our Union Forces. It is January 1st, 1862. Um, we just won a pretty decent battle over here versus uh, two or more Confederate armies with uh, the Army of the Shenandoah. Ulysses S. Grant is proving to be a... Um, indispensable member of the Union Army. We've got McClellan up here. I'm going to try something with McClellan. Um, I'm actually going to try and form up a core and go to the uh, core system. Um, so just bear with me here. I may make a complete mess of this, but I do believe it has to be tried. Uh, the new core should be formed in... We don't have anyone... Well, McClellan's from Ohio, so... Let's form up out of Ohio. That says the Army of Ohio. Hmm. Add a new group. Yeah, I knew I was going to make a mess of this. Okay, this is 1st Division. This is the Army of the Ohio. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think this is going to work. Well, hmm. Wonder if I could just cancel this. I don't think I can. So we'll just form up uh, at a new unit. Let's see what can we do with that. Oh, look at all the volunteers we have. Recruits. Got 41,000, so that's that's a good thing. Uh, let's pick someone close. West Virginia. It'll be an infantry unit. Okay, recruiting them. Not entirely sure what's going on here. I was ex expecting a core to show up. But it did not, so... I guess we're building a new army. Anyone uh, want to... Give me some advice on doing this? Be more than happy to uh, take your advice. This isn't going to be a very big army, but whatever. Oh, we got to do something with their weapons. Actually, I'm going to save the new weapons for the uh, frontline troops. <clears throat> so we will go with three infantry brigades. And an artillery.
Ohio. Pull some from Ohio. Give them some real ugly uniforms. I got a thing about personalizing the uniforms. Don't know what it is. Tennessee. Just leave their uniforms as it is. And then from Pennsylvania, I'm going to kind of flesh out my, uh, my other armies that I have. Let's see, Illinois. We can grab an artillery battalion from Illinois. Whoops. Go with uh, cavalry for this one. Indiana. Iowa. Uh, we'll pull from... Trying to find someone a little close so it doesn't take forever for them to get there. Pull from Iowa again. We'll give them four brigades. Massachusetts. Here we go, we've got a uh, new army. Detached to independent unit. Wonder what happens if I do that. Ah. Oh. Let's find out. The detach this detaches the selected units to an independent core at the current position of the selected units. Okay. Well, let's find out. That's not what I wanted to do. Well, shit. Okay. <laughs> okay, I made a mess of this. Let's see, Army of the Ohio, you can go back. Okay. So this is the Army of the Ohio with 15,000 under Robert C. Shank. Let's find them way up here in Cincinnati. It's actually kind of a good place for them to come up from. So we can just come bring them down south and uh, join the Department of the West and the Department of Pennsylvania, which is over here. The Army of the West, which is over here. And together we can form up a Western Army. Like I said, if you know of any uh, the way to make these independent corps without actually making a new army, uh, fill me in in the comments below. Because I'd like to uh, get these corps set up so they, they can um, operate independently. Uh, while still supporting each other. I guess I could do the same thing with just regular armies, but the game offers the mechanics, so I might as well take advantage of it. Now into today's planning. Uh, these guys, their readiness is pretty crappy. So here's McClellan. He's the only one that's uh, got full readiness. Uh, 26,000 for McClellan. That's 
decent. 32,000 for McDowell. And Hooker with his 23,000. I'm not too happy with Hooker right now. He kind of left Grant hanging in the last episode. Uh, McDowell has a perk, so let's... Give him his... Let's give him his perk. Level up by rating. I never really do any of that. Level up by rating. Level up by fighting battles. Sounds good to me. Okay, he's still recovering from the battle. Now my plan here is to take these four forces. Um, at some point one of them is going to go take Norfolk. And then I'm going to have them come down the coast. It doesn't really look like we have much to uh, worry about in terms of resistance. But we're just going to push down. We do have the army of Tennessee out here. 6,500 not overly concerned with that. Um, here's our new army. The Army of New York is still making its way to Pittsburgh. Or they are in Pittsburgh. They're entrenching. Um, probably just going to leave them as is for now. We got a lot of Confederate um, naval activity in this area right here. So let's go check on the Lake Michigan Squadron. They're almost ready to go. Takes a while to get these guys up and running. But once we get the Lake Michigan squadron up, we can send them down. Uh, they've only got 10 guns. Let's see what they'd be up against here. Mobile Bay squadron with 35 guns, 25 guns, and 9 guns. So they'd be outgunned on the rivers. It's not good. Uh, we've got the Block Island Sound Squadron down here. Eight ships, one gun. Currently blockading this area here. There's a South Carolina State Militia forming up here. What do I want to do? I think I gave orders to McClellan to move, but it could have been someone else. I am going to send McClellan down to Lynchburg. Then we're going to look out west before we hit play. Looks like we have taken Nashville, so that's a good thing. 17,000 men in the Department of the West under Harney. 17,000. So we could combine these two armies for a 34,000 force strong. The Army of the West is currently uh, in winter quarters up here. With their 25,000. There's 10,000 in the Army of Mississippi. 4,100. 250. I know there was a army down here that had... There was 2,000 there. So they may be kind of moving their forces around for some unknown reason. <clears throat> but we could send him down to... Me uh, Memphis down here. Retake, retake Memphis. I think we're going to start by moving him to Dyersburg. So once he gets to Dyersburg, we're going to build a supply depot here. And then probably move the Department of the West down 
to take these two supply depots and by then hopefully the Department of Pennsylvania will be in uh, shape to move and we'll see what happens policy wise we are 5.6 days away from bounties so hopefully that will uh, increase our level of uh, recruitment we can do let's hit play and watch the pieces move I know I did take a bit of a risk uh, pulling these guys out of Richmond but Once again, I was expecting to have some backup in Joseph Hooker here. Just kind of didn't want to play along, so. In fact, Hooker, why don't you, uh, why don't you build a supply depot while you're hanging out? If you can. All right, now we got bounties. Build that right there. Clawin is on the move. Now these are the guys that was all bunched up in one ball and I didn't see all three of them. That's why the last battle was uh, kind of a little shocker for Grant that he was so outnumbered. And here we go, Department of the West. <laughs> wow, okay, well, 15,124 men are going to be going up against 3,000, most of them cavalry. I may just auto-resolve this one just because... Who are they fighting? Army of West Tennessee, where are they? Oh, they're right there. Nah, we're not going to auto-resolve it. Battle of Nashville. January 11th. So 11 days passed while I was messing around, looking around the map. 17,000... 414 men under Major General Harney versus 6,000 under Major General Branch. Branch. Uh, meeting engagement. Okay, here's an objective down here. Is this the only one? Oops. Oh. Yep. Here's the only objective here. Let's get our men situated. If I can get them all in this area right here without putting them in on the other side of the river. Good to me. Okay, let's hit play. Now the objective is down here, so uh, we're going to want to come down probably... They're coming from over here. Maybe I should have deployed these guys over on this side of the river. Well, whatever. Let's get them in marching columns. Our, one of our few battles out in the uh, in the west here. If I'm not mistaken, I don't... Oh, yes, I do have cavalry. All right, so cavalry, we are going to detach you. And we are going to send you... Let's see, where do we want to 
Send them. See, if they're going to be coming from over here, they're going to have to cross at some point. I just don't know where. So I'm going to send them down to this crossroads right here. Get them moving. And then... And I have the whole army just line up behind them. Something like that. And we will see how long it takes to find the enemy. Okay, so we have sight of the enemy. They're in this clearing right here. You can see they uh, built some form of defensive works. Uh, we've got pretty good position here. We spin around. We can kind of see we're coming at them through the woods. And then there's a, uh, well, that's a little house. But our cavalry did spot them. They are kind of hiding right now, so let's uh, press the attack. I've got my divisions formed up into a double line. Uh, I'm going to have this division here detach some skirmishers. Set everybody in the long range before I forget. At play, it's 10.40 in the morning, so we'll have plenty of time. Send out skirmishers from our frontline units. And then we're going to move our artillery up here. And up to the edge of the field. I want to turn off this use roads thing. Have you come up right here? Move our detachments up. them up on the edge of these woods here. And then we can move our divisions up a little bit. Just a little bit at a time. Maybe a little 
little further up here. We do have our cavalry over here as well. I'm going to move you over here. Nice snowy day in Nashville, Tennessee. Once guys start moving, we'll be able to see what we're up against. I could have swore they were a little further out. But if we can route them from where they are, there's some of them, and have them... This is their only avenue of uh, egress right here. We could just bombard the hell out of these, this area and... Hopefully cause, cause a lot of casualties. So a couple pretty sizable infantry brigades and... Eh. It's alright. Kind of want to get my artillery in the position first before we uh, start firing. Okay, it looks like they built some here and then pulled back, which is kind of strange. really know if I want to uh, send my skirmishers out. Across the open like that, but that's kind of the only way we have to go, so... Have you start moving up? Cavalry come up over here. A first division. Push up on the uh, tree line. for the uh, cavalry to get up there a little closer. They are taking fire though, so we should probably 
do something to engage them. Okay, they're already breaking. I could probably just recall them. Might not be a bad idea. Yeah, let's recall all our skirmishers. Attach this uh, artillery here. Put them right there. This artillery is moving up nice. We're going to detach them. Oops. And bring them over here. We have to actually bring them up a little closer. Okay, they're still moving into position. They're still moving into position. Let's get Harney up in the front. Our division commanders get up a little closer to their units. Let's see what have we suffered for defeat or uh, casualties so far? 62 casualties. That'll change. our brigades up. They are firing on our cavalry. Have you move over here? Here. And we're going to have these two hang back for reserves. losses in the uh, second cavalry and 23 in the also second cavalry so it's mostly cavalry that we're uh, taking losses from they okay, push up to this road Do we have line of sight over here yet? Yes, we do. Start firing on him. 
These guys are having a hell of a time getting through these woods. Actually, change my mind. Just mount up. Stay on your horses. I have plans for you. Okay, just outside of range. Move you up to the edge of this field here. Division commanders, get up with your men. All right, it looks like they're shifting. you that that far forward. Where are you going? How's our artillery coming? Plugging along? They actually have line of sight over here, so... Have them start firing on them. Pull you up a little bit. Bring our reserves up. up. Have you hit this artillery here? Bring you up to fill the hole. And you rally. A 
a good line of sight for our artillery to fire from here. Have our cavalry come up as well. But keep them mounted. Crittenden is losing men. He's stable, but he probably isn't going to last forever, so we're going to bring you up here. Just a little bit. Friends and suffering. Oh, there he goes. He broke. are we doing this? Fall back, fall back, come on. Oh, that's not what I wanted to see. bring in more of my reserves than what I really wanted to. Now they're retreating. Okay. Let's have you come up here. Have you come up here. I'm going to push them through the lines. Alright, we got an hour. I wonder if they're going to be able to just cross the river right here. It looks like they are. Unless they come by coming down here. Okay, Lane's Brigade. Let's see, what's the strength on this one? 900, 1600 here. Let's get our reserves up. Okay, cavalry. Charge this brigade here. Let's go grab those guns. Have you turned to face him? You can take on anyone that happens to come through. Let's 
give a general charge order once again to everybody. Major victory. Where are you going? I want you to charge him. We're just charging everybody at this one brigade. We'll have our artillery pound him. Oh, one of our uh, cavalry divisions broke. And they are running the other way, so... <laughs> Go get him. We're surrounded. Probably unnecessary to do this, but it's kind of fun. So I want to see if I can completely wipe him out. Our other cavalry is about to uh, break. I think I accidentally charged my uh, my guns in there too. So it's a bad day to be uh, Drayton. Oh, Tarv, we're starting to break now. So, all right, just fire on him. Oh, well, those are captured guns. Those are the guns we captured. All right. Let's give a general order to the halt. Who else do we have that's just sort of standing around back here? No one. All right, well... Not sure why they're demoralized or broken. I don't know why these guys are breaking. Hmm. Well, let's uh, let's pull everyone back, and then speed up time. They're breaking. <laughs> Is there someone shooting at them that I don't see? Minor defeat. How the hell did that happen? How is that possible? That's not... I don't think so. Okay, so it went from major victory to minor defeat to minor victory. So we did win. Uh, not going to try and figure out how, but we won in the Battle of Nashville. Good job, uh, Arnie. Lost uh, about 1% of your force. Well, there's that. That's a little confusing. Now, we could have used that major victory for the uh, national morale points, too. Oh, well. That'll teach him to mess with us in the West, I guess. Strange that our units kept breaking like that. And they weren't even anywhere near uh, the enemy because they took off across the field. Well, that's the last time I go on a wild charge like that. Because that could have gone horribly wrong if it actually stuck.
Anyway, once we get back to the campaign map, I'm going to take a look at beefing up our forces in the east with those troops from Pennsylvania. Okay, there goes the Army of Tennessee. Full retreat. Like the Army of the West is ready to go. We're going to send them down to Nashville. Meanwhile, readiness is not the best out here uh, because of this um, supposed victory. Small armies, but they're they're everywhere. So, okay, we got the Department of the Ohio and the Army of the Potomac over here. Because of winter, our readiness is just shit. And what I could do is I could combine a couple of these armies, like get rid of McClellan's Army of uh, Department of Ohio and add that to the Army of the Potomac. That'll free up uh, McClellan if, like I said, if anyone wants to give me pointers on forming up these core, I've got an idea of what I want to do. Um, what I want to do is have Grant in charge of the army with these guys in charge of their core. Uh, Grant has a perk. So we'll give them the reporters so they can level up by fighting. Let's take a look at the overall uh, 49%. Holy shit, that's low. 25%. So we've got 217,246 men to their 72,000. Uh, we're almost equal on naval tonnage, though, so... Um, casualties are... Eh, I want to say fairly even. Okay, so Grant... Thirty-two thousand, twenty-three thousand, twenty-seven thousand. Uh, we're gonna add to McClellan, actually. And we're going to add some infantry. Um, oh, Connecticut. And then we're going to add some infantry here from... Oh, we got a lot of, got a lot of recruits. 105,000 volunteers. Oh. So we could actually form up a whole new army in the West, in Kentucky. Bring them from Maine. We'll make you a pretty large brigade. Uh... And then let's, uh, okay. Let's see what we can do about upgrading some of these guys' weapons here. Springfield rifled muskets, Enfields, mixed muskets. Oh, wow. Look at all these. This is going to be nice. 
but I can do that off camera. Um, I am going to add a few new units to each of the armies that we have. Probably another division to uh, Grant. Rid of all these crappy weapons here. I should probably save some for the, uh, the armies out west, too. But right now, Grant is my, uh, my rock star. So he's getting the best. Probably should have looked to see if those, uh, Enfields were actually the best, but... We've got quite a bit of them. 400 yards as opposed to... 250 yards, 3 rounds a minute. Yep, they're pretty good. Yeah, so much for doing this off camera, huh? I'll just go through it real quick. Auto upgrade weapons. I could always just do that, save myself a bunch of time. They've already got the Enfields mixed muskets, we'll get rid of that. Cavalry. Oh, I guess you guys are screwed. You keep the crap that you have. Uh, artillery. Six pound field gun. 1500 yards. 1600 yards. 1300 yards. And yeah, we can uh, give them some Napoleons. I think we have just enough. Uh, Napoleons to... Oh, they already have it. 14-pound James Rifle. 24-pound Howitzer. We'll leave them as they are. And then you... You've got the 6-pound field gun, so you get the Napoleon. You... There's that. So I'm going to go through off camera and upgrade all these guys' weapons. Also, um, probably add a few more units to each of uh, each of our armies down here. See how long it is before these guys get out to a uh, hooker. Or whoever the hell I gave them to. Wellen, maybe. Yep, there they are. 23 days and 32 days. Hmm. Alright, well anyway, I'll do all that off camera so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me click through this. Choose our next policy. Let's see, what do we want to go for? I don't really want to kill my relation with the Europeans or help out the Confederacy, so... Let's see, 34 days... We'll go legal blockade. But that's going to do it for today's episode. If you liked the episode, hit the like. If you would like to follow along through the rest of this... Civil War campaign. Now that we are into 1862, um, gonna probably hold my units in place. Uh, forget about the winter offensive and just hold them in place until the going is a little bit easier. And then we'll start pushing south over here as well as in what in the west. And uh, at some point we'll be uh, more than likely linking up if it lasts that long. So. 
Hit the subscribe if you want to come along. Leave your thoughts, tips, and advice, particularly about how to form up in cores in the comment section. And we will see you for our next battle, J76NY, saying thank you very much for watching, and have yourself a very good day.